In this video, we'll take a look at generating bill of quantities reports from out of your models from Ecosim Building Designer Electrical. So I'm in this discipline master file in my work set here. And these files are provided in the training data sets, uh, part of the data set US and data set NM installs when you install Ecosim Building Designer. In previous videos, we saw how we set up Ecosim Building Designer Electrical, register our design files, how it utilizes the BBES database folder in your work set, and imported the spaces from the architectural model. So all that was shown in previous videos. So now we'll take a look at doing the reporting. But before I generate the report, one utility that we have in Ecosim Building Designer, up here in the ribbon interface, I'm in the electrical tab. The space management tools is this tool right here, which is update symbol location data. So in the workflow of your project over the lifetime of your project, the spaces might get rearranged or, or removed or spaces added. And in which case you need to update the location of the electrical symbols for the location in the space that they're associated with. So in this case, I will go to my working models. So I'll come to my, well, first look, let's look at the references. I'm in the discipline master. So I have a power for office floor one, a lighting for office floor one, and a telecom for office floor one. So I'll go to each of those files. And one way I can do that is right here, right press and just say exchange. When we do an exchange, it maintains the orientation and arrangement of the views. So that's one way I can quickly get over into these working model files. And I'll simply run this update symbol location data. And you'll see a message in the message center that process is happening there. And then you'll get an OK. So I can go back to my master model with my view groups and go to previous. And I'll just do that for each of these three working models. And you, you can uh, you know, browse and open these files. So I'm just utilizing this method here. Again, I'll update my location data. It says resetting location info. And then it will tell me OK. And then one more. It's actually a good practice to do this periodically on your models. And again, especially if the spaces change or get deleted or added. So now I'll go ahead and get back into my master model. So I'll close my reference file dialog box here. To run the bill of quantities reporting, we'll come up to the data reporting tab here in the ribbon interface. We have an electrical group. So I'll select the output manager. And we need to list the files that we have in our work set for what we want to report on. So I see right here where the file list is blank right now. So we can come down to this add button. That will come us that will come to this add drawing dialog box. Notice this is looking into that underbar BBES folder, which is our Bentley Building Electrical Systems database. And for every DGN file that we have registered in the work set, we have a corresponding EDB file out here. So I'm going to choose each of the ones for my office floor one. So the way I've named the files here, those are all the ones with the underbar one. So I've got fire alarm, I've got lighting, I've got power, and I've got that telecom one. So I'll say open, and that will list the files here now in the output manager. So now we'll come up to the bill of quantities button up here. I'll get this alert about outputting the cable data, yes or no. 
no circuiting has been done in this project yet. That's covered in other videos for more uh, intermediate type of courses. So in this case, I'll say no. And then we get this reports dialog box. I'll choose the bill of quantities and click the Excel button. And I see a message down here telling me generating report. And Excel has opened on my machine. So here's the bill of quantities spreadsheet. So I can take this spreadsheet information and feed it into other spreadsheets or worksheets with any kind of formulas that I want to put in there. But if we notice, for example, I, here is my closed tubes, four foot by two foot lighting fixtures, and I see that there are 75 on this floor in my project. So I'll go ahead and save this spreadsheet. That gets saved right into the same folder as your DGN files. And we'll take, that, take a look at another report. We can report by rooms or zones. Now our project here is set up as rooms. Your project might have zones. Maybe it's more of an industrial type of project or warehousing or, or anything like that where it's a large building that might have zones. In this case, we're just set up as rooms. So we'll go to Output Manager. I see my files are still listed there, but this time I'll choose Space Zone Reports. And then you'll see where this Room Zones dialog box opens. And here I can see, there it is looking in the building properties for my electrical project in the database out there. Again, this was set up in earlier videos. I'll come to the Office Floor one. There's my spaces. Now I can use these buttons down here to uh, select more than one at at the same time, let me let me highlight Office Floor 1. I'll hit the check mark there. And there I see everything, all the spaces get selected. I have options down here. I'll do Accumulated by Room Zone and select OK. And then I'll say Export to Excel. It's generating a report. And again, Excel has opened. So if I come to Excel, it's listing to me all of the electrical components that it's found in each space out there. So I see that in Office 101, there's four light fixtures. In Office 103, there are nine light fixtures, etc. And again, you can take this information and feed it into any kind of spreadsheet where uh, to report however you want to with this this quantities and or quantities by space. So taking a look at reporting from out of Ecosim Building Designer Electrical. This concludes the quick start set of videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.